Hello guys. Uh, some time ago, I uh, made a video for my band where we had this scene, uh, where the name of my band Astrogen appeared on the bullet surface. And uh, recently, I started to get a lot of questions about one one simple thing: is uh, how to add a name to the bullet surface. So what you need to do is uh, to understand how to make a bullet. Uh, I used this uh, great tutorial from the video copilot.net which is also called a bullet and it's really great because it explains everything from the scratch how you start and how you integrate everything in your final footage so uh, if you are familiar with it then you will, e you will, it will be very easy to understand what I'm telling and if you are just starting then I think this is the way to go to get to the point uh, the only thing what you need to understand is that uh, once you modeled your bullet and gave it gave it a shape in a 3D space, you would finally want to give also some surface details and also surface colors. This is mainly done by uh, actually this is done by means of two maps, of two images which uh, represent a height map and a color map of the surface. And if you know the tutorial uh, from videocopilot.net then you would recognize this bump bronze and diffuse bronze pictures which uh, separately look like this so this is a bump bro bump bronze and this is the diffuse bronze and what you do you just uh, wrap them wrap them around the 3d object and uh, what you get is this similar to it so there is a nice bullet body with some scratches with some uh, yeah, protrusions and depressions on it. And now we will uh, try to add a name. The only thing you need is to modify those two images in the way you want. By saying that, I mean adding the text on top of it. So uh, in my particular case, I chose the name of my band and I just put it on top of it. And the only thing here is that uh, you need to flip it in order to be mapped properly because right now we are working on the inside so inside of the surface so you would need to look on this picture from the other side somehow in order to um, really have the same impression uh, to have a real world impression or to have it uh, done properly so what is uh, what is the next step is just save this image and this image separately and uh, go back to your 3D software and try to replace <laughs> the, only need, the only thing you need is just to replace the original things with the modified uh, ones so what you do is uh, first you I think to, to see the effect you would just replace the bomb bronze and you see the bomb bronze and I check this one and uh, now we render uh, your surface is already changed so you see that your favorite word already appeared on the surface but it's only appeared as a depression and uh, it still uses the original color from the uh, from yeah from the from the previous image map so uh, what you need then is that uh, you replace your image map by the diffuse bronze you modified it or by the image you modified and what you see is uh, you have your word and then on top of it you have the color you cho you have chosen for your word and that's mainly all I mean you, you can tweak this further and uh, you can tweak the depth of your word by modifying the color of uh, the bump map by saying that I mean if you choose this one and uh, you make it light gray then your word would be just slightly depressed but if you put it as a very uh, very dark black then it would be really 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 deep scratch and sort of deep uh, depression I think we are done for now I hope you get the information you really need for your project and uh, yeah, thanks for watching